he got mad and he threw his, he was throwing his tent and stuff over here and kicking it. And he's high on drugs and he's coming back and, 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 and he's wandering around here. And he comes up right over there where that stuff is. Uh, he's right behind to the, well, where I'm sitting there is to the left of that tree right straight back there. And there was a lady, there was a lady officer shot, shot him. I seen her, uh, I seen her pull out that, like a gun, you know. Why had they got something so damn high powered anyway? So it looked like, what, what did it look like as far as a gun? Pardon me? What kind of gun? It was one of those, uh, it, matter of fact, the they police, showed it on the news. The, the, police, the police had police. a gun. The guy didn't have a gun. The guy didn't have a gun. The police had a gun. And then, you know, the police are all going to get together and, well, don't worry. They get away with too much. Yeah, they have a hell of a job, and I'm proud of some of them's work, but shooting somebody and... Hey, they could tell he was high on drugs. Come on. So start the story from the beginning. You were here. Yeah, I was right here, sitting right here where I was at. I was backed in here at an angle where I could sit and watch everything going. I was, the nose on this was like this angle right here. I come in, I parked right here where I could see. And then the officers started taping everything off after that. And... They told me they wanted me to stick around so the police could ask me questions, so then I did. And then after I was done, they said, well, we want you to stick around because you got information that, that we thought was kind of good, so we're gonna, uh, they're gonna call us. Uh, detectives. Uh, yeah, they're gonna call the detectives. And then the detectives are gonna come and wanna ask us some questions. We did that, we answered. We answered the question. They asked me if I saw, a, if I seen a gun or anything. And I said, there was no gun there. Now these two probably dope heads themselves sitting here in the van. I know the van, I know who they bought it from, not by name, but by eye. And I don't know why in the hell. What did those two fellows said, say about the gun? Pardon me? What did those two fellows in the red van say about the gun? Oh, the, the... On TV, they said that he, they seen him with the gun. We yeah. seen him on Holgate in the middle of the road, right waving up here their in arms. This intersection. And he did not have a gun in his waist, in his hands, no bag, no nothing, no gun. Yeah. I feel that, you know, I appreciate an officer, but I don't appreciate him shooting a man for no reason. And to me, they can see he's on drugs. F figure out another way. If they have to, turn his ass loose. Don't shoot him and kill him. You know, he he he's might have been his way of trying to reach out and get some help. He got help. They just killed him, you know. Did you see the shooting? Yes, yeah. I saw the shooting. Saw the guy fall. And see what see, 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 no, see no, just a minute. The seen those police after the police got the police police walked over there. And they're just standing there looking around and they did none of them I see bend over and pick up a gun or anything off the ground. I see that guy with that van. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him, hey, will you show me what you got filmed? Yeah. And it all about a gun. I'd in court I'd say, those two guys are lying. Matter of fact, this one of the officers that uh, right that held me over here for a while. Did I give you the card? Yeah, I stuck it in the glove box. Was they'll see where the pile of wood is right there? Yeah. That's where the tent was. They're saying that's where he fell at. That's no, no. Where the paper sack is is where he was. Yep, exactly. Right where it is, is where he was. And yeah, he come out from behind. He was kind of behind the tree, and then he come out from behind the tree. And he's got his arms. Well, he ain't got nothing in his hands, not a damn thing. And then this lady cop, oh, she pisses me off. Shot, to me, she shot him for no reason. He didn't have no weapon on him. Those guys... I think they're full of shit. I want to see it. And There's a pretty long distance between where that tree wa is, where they were behind, and where he fell. 
Oh, I could see. Hell, we saw everything just excellent. Matter of fact, we were just right over here a little bit, and that little bush right here wasn't in the way. We had nothing but a clear shot of the police yes, over here and the, and the young man that got shot. And you saw him in the street before this. Yeah, before this happened. He was up here, right here on 92nd and Holgate. Hell, he was threw his hat in the intersection. He was standing in the intersection, stopping cars and stuff. He even stopped me, stood right in front of me. So I'd go, well, you know, I don't want to hurt the guy. I'll just have to wait. I know he's on drugs. You know, wait for him to trip away. He, he kind of got back out of the way, and I went on. And I got about... I got a, a just a little over an eighth a mile on the other side of Holgate. And I was driving, I looked at my mirror. And I told my wife, I said, well, the police are gonna get him out of the street. Cause you, I saw the police car there. They got him out of the street. If, why didn't they just take him somewhere? And hey, the, some people have dumb ways of reaching out for help, you know? And we gotta, we gotta figure out what's what. So you'd seen that sort of behavior before? My family's a drug Yeah, dealer. Her, her family used drugs. Meth, heroin, coke, you name it, and that took it. So he was pretty agitated. He, he seemed to be awful aggravated, but if the police are pushing his buttons, he's bound to get aggravated. It's just like, would say, me and an officer. And, you know, I got mad at the officer. I would still say officer, even if I was mad. I still wouldn't talk out of line because I wouldn't give them no reason to want to haul me in for my big mouth, you know. And you guys live around here? We live, we're, we're, we're homeless. We live up here by nine, on, on 92nd, but we have, we bought a motor home and we live in that. And we're comfortable. It ain't quite what I was. I mean, I'm 75 years old down. I, I thought, well, hell, when I get old, well, I'll be all right. I didn't know I was going to be homeless. Hell, when I was a kid, I saw old folks, and I go, boy, I hope I don't end up like that when I get old. Shit, I'm probably worse than they were. Well, thank goodness for spring, huh? You betcha, you betcha. But, you know, that man was... He, he, he was in Vietnam, so this kind of works on his... Uh... Oh, I saw him go down. It, it, it just really hurt. The military came back to him. Yeah, it did. You guys mind if I show this recording to other people? Oh, no, I don't. You might I have... want it known because I want to find those guys or else I want to be brought to court. Because I'm, I'm not going to let... I appreciate the law, but that time, if you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. And I feel that an officer has to go by some of the rules that we do and shooting that poor young man and watching him fall like i told that detective i said you know they know about drug users there's tons of them around here why don't they have officers that can deal with this situation instead of shooting them why well, we're trained for this. Well, why didn't they if use their training? If you're trained to shoot them, that's not right. They and didn't it, use their training. No. And the lady that did it, she was on that tree right there. She was on this side of it. And the other and was on this. I saw her. I saw her like a, like like a, like an old all metal, you know, hollow, like a a military type gun. I mean, I don't know how much power they need, but either way, damn it, they, did, they didn't need to shoot them. And they need to take the police and, and start putting some of these police in, in some training where they can learn to deal with a drug person out in the open like this, where they could walk so much, stop, talk to him. He didn't have no gun. You know, they need to, you know, talk to him a little bit, say, why don't you come with me and I'll take you somewhere where you can get some help and maybe with a little bit of luck we can get you off of that and you'll enjoy your life more. Well, 
Well, up on Hogate, when he was, I call it dancing around, but you know, up there on Hogate, and the police came to get him out of the street. Why didn't they just take him in and get him help then, instead of just getting him out of the street and leave him alone? You, you can see standing in the street, he had his britches on like you do, except he had them inside out. The pockets were hanging out. So he, you could tell he didn't have a gun in his pocket, because like he said, his pockets were hanging out. Yeah. So it's okay with you if I share this with folks, including the courts Please. and law enforcement? Oh, you bet. Put sir. it on YouTube, all that. Can yeah. we uh, have your name and, and numbers? I will. I'll give it to you. Okay. Yeah, you betcha. You show that. I didn't. I didn't say nothing that wasn't the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. I did not see no gun. My wife didn't, and I believe those guys right here. They were, they were getting in and out. Uh, the one passenger. He was getting it in and out and acting all ignorant and retarded and just you know trying to put on a big show because the police are here. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, police talk to those two. Well, Not the guy, right source. When that guy came on TV, he said that he seen a gun. Uh, what a lie. I never seen no gun. No, and we were here through all of it. In fact, we just got done eating at McDonald's, and, and we live on 9th second, second going, like, go south. And come by, I told Jack, I said, just don't look at that. I said, let's pull in and see what's going on. And I was probably parked like, where that pickup is there. I was parked there. Uh, over this way, but that bush wasn't in the way, and you can see right, you can see everything happening, it's just pitiful. <laughs>